New images and new information tonight in that deadly plane crash near Hilliard that happened on Monday afternoon. A closer look for you now right here at the wreckage, which happened in a wooded area off Trinity Lane near County Road 121. You can see the plane appears to be mostly intact. And according to our aviation expert Ed Booth, this will make it a lot easier for investigators to determine what went wrong. But this picture is also providing more clues into why the investigation will be looking closer at the plane's engine. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avenier is joining us live after digging deeper into where the plane was coming from and what clues are in the pictures of the wreckage. So, Eric, what have you been able to uncover? Yeah, I've uncovered a lot. In fact, according to flight tracking data, the night before the plane crashed, it was picked up on radar flying over New Jersey, then over the Atlanta area the following morning before it went down in Northeast Florida hours later. And our aviation expert says pictures of the wreckage are consistent with statements from witnesses who saw the plane going down. For the first time, we we're able to see wreckage of the plane that crashed and killed the pilot. News for Jack's aviation primary expert Ed Booth says the primary piece of evidence that leads him to believe out. engine trouble caused the plane to crash is the propeller. The picture clearly shows the propeller is still intact. Booth says this is a sign that the propeller was not in motion when the plane crashed. Had it been in motion, the propeller would be bent or distorted during the crash. Which tells me the engine had either stopped completely or the propeller was not being driven by the engine. The engine was not producing power. So this provides a valuable clue as to why the pilot wound up where he did. Also, the 911 calls from witnesses suggest there was a problem with the engine. And it had black smoke coming out of it. It was spitting and sputtering. Booth says there are two sources of engine fire. One is aviation fuel, which is highly flammable and also engine oil. Both liquids move through the engine via rubber hoses that can break or leak. Booth says leaky or broken hoses can cause the liquids to ignite when they come in contact with the hot engine exhaust system. And designers of aircraft take extreme care to prevent such uh, happenings. But aviation records show this Vans RV-8 was an experimental plane that was built from a kit back in 2004 by a man who lives in Connecticut. We are not showing his name on this document because it's unclear if he was also the pilot who died. Now, Booth says the photo of the wreckage also gives investigators two more clues. One, the fuselage was intact and on the ground, meaning the plane didn't break apart in flight. And two, because there isn't a large debris field, the pilot may have tried to safely land the craft. Reporting live in the newsroom, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.